Hey everybody, how are you all doing today? Hope everyone's having an awesome day. So today I wanna to go over why Qui-Gon didn't want younglings at the Jedi Temple. And while a lot of you might be like, well, you know, you just didn't like them, kinda of like Anakin did in the end. But no, it's actually quite the opposite. So we're gonna read a passage from the new canon Master and Apprentice novel by Claudia Gray, and then we're gonna go into it a little bit. So here we go. How sheltered he still is, Qui-Gon thought. Some of their missions had taken them to less developed worlds, but Obi-Wan persisted in thinking of them as the exceptions, rather, than and the rule. To him, normal meant Coruscant. Why should the Jedi raise so many of their younglings on the richest, busiest planet in the galaxy? It made sense for the Jedi Council to be located there at the center of government. But council members didn't need to be in constant contact with the younglings. Perhaps we might move more of the schools, or at least the creche, Qui-Gon thought. There are numerous worlds safe enough for us to shelter the younglings, where life is lived more simply, in ways more familiar throughout the galaxy, where the children might be surrounded by farmland or fish beings, where we interact more with the communities around us and train new Jedi to be as much a part of the world as separate from them. He caught himself. He was focusing on the future rather than the present. The lecture he'd given Obi-Wan would have been better delivered to himself. So here is basically Qui-Gon saying, and you know, of course this is one reason why he wasn't given a seat on the council, well, until this book, but he declined of course, is because he wanted to basically change a lot of the things, or he believed differently in a lot of the ways that the Jedi Council believed in. He felt they were way too rigid, they were way too focused on politics and the Republic and democracy and all this and that, rather than focusing on life and the Force itself. And this is why he felt the younglings, who were the foundation of the new generation of Jedi, you know, continuously, they should have been put on a remote planet, you know, much more quiet and peaceful, where there's more life and there's just less distractions and less politics and less crap, basically, and more emphasis on life in general. And this would allow a youngling to basically harness their powers and abilities much more effectively than if they were constantly being told what to do or what to think or being, you know, confused with politics and this and that, but just to actually focus on themselves, their growth, the people around them, and the communities around them, then they would be much more, I believe, passionate and uh, empathetic than, you know, growing up in kind of a big, busy, the most busy planet in pretty much the galaxy at the center of government. So I could see where Qui-Gon is going there. And then in the end, he says, and train new Jedi to be as much a part of the world as separate from them. And he closes off his sentence, but I believe what he was trying to say, to be as separate as the actual Jedi on the council, because he feels like they are so disconnected from the world, or I mean, the from the galaxy, and he doesn't want the younglings to grow up with the same conditioning that the Jedi Council is kind of indirectly forcing everyone to go along with. So here's another reason why Qui-Gon is just one of my favorite Jedi, because he strayed so far from the norm, and it says this in a lot of the canon comics too, is that he just basically believes in what he thinks is right at the moment, you know, and he's not bound by these rules and codes as much as the Jedi are, and he's not as rigid and strict, but he believes in the Force. You know, the Force is the one that helps him decide, not the rules uh, designed by the Jedi. So Qui-Gon's philosophy and belief on not having younglings at the Jedi Temple and raising them elsewhere. And then I guess, you know, once they are a little more sure of themselves and uh, practice the force in a much more quiet environment and growing up in this community with farmland and this and that, they become a little more wholesome, I believe he's trying to say, and much more in tuned with their emotions. And then they can be moved off world, you know, onto Coruscant or wherever they need to be. But I feel like that's definitely one of the things that he was trying to say. Now, one drawback to this is that the younglings won't be surrounded by all of the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy, and this kind of disperses them. But I mean, you know, there's good and bad to everything. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, remember, the force will be with you always.